you know, with me, bro, it's just like I'm the alternative to the bull crap. You know what I'm saying? Pertaining to, you know, all the ills in our community. You know, I feel like I feel like we got enough ignorant shit. And if everybody, you know, want to want that, go over there. Like I even on my social media, I put up sometimes. I say warning. This 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 page is for the upliftment, education, um, and empowerment of myself and others. Like I don't like we got enough ignorant shit. I don't, I'm cool. I didn't done my ignorant shit. You know what I'm saying? And I don't I don't I don't I don't shy away from it. It's my story. I I don't glorify no glorification like my homie, um, Bold King. No glorification. But at the end of the day, I put up numbers like 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 the Bulls in '95. No, nah, we can't. You can't take away now from it. Nah, nah, I can talk to you. I can talk to you. Go tell us. You know what I'm saying? Go tell us. You tired to tell us. We're going to get a little D-Boy and D-Nash in here today. So, living with uh, the homie Ball here, which was here. I think Ball here was the governor at the time, or the region. I think he might have been the governor. So, anyway, um, I was going to be GD, and he asked me this when it wasn't what the mob could do for you, it's what you could do for the mob. So, he asked me, like, um... Why you want VGD? And at the time, it was just like, because it was cool, and I'm around all the guys, and these who I look up to. So, But he was like, that ain't a good enough uh, answer. He like, I want you to go think about that. So, but then, looking at it, um, if something happened, and they called one of the big homies to, to, to a session, and they beat his curl juice up out his head. And, and for me, it made me be like, damn. Like, they really do that to their people? And he's a person at the time he's driving a Q45. He the he the epitome man, of, of, of of what I thought was a good street dude. He got the woman, he got the money, he got the car, he got the power, I thought, until they called him to that ball, that park and, and beat the brakes off on with bats. I was like, oh no, I can't be GD. I want money, I want girls, I want power, I want the cars, I want all that. And if they whooping you, if you don't do what they say, nah, I'm going to have to hurt somebody. Like, nah, I can't be GD. Nah, they whooping. They Wait, whooping. Not, not, to say, not to say, niggas, I'm not BD, but man, I, 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 I've been with our plenty of BDs. I love, I love plenty of BDs. Ain't no man bigger than the mob, though. Man, them so GDs is the whooping, bro. If the mob come, no, nah, look, no, ain't no man bigger look, than the mob. Was, but the GDs at this time, they was whooping you about not taking their work. Like, it was a lot of other yeah, things that was like going on. Yeah, 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 bro, that yeah, means. Yeah, yeah, bro, that means. Nation pack and the nation pack ain't even a good grade of drugs. <laughs> they so that now you're about to get this ounce of cocaine for a thousand dollars that you could get it from the guys for five, six hundred, and it's the worst coke on earth. And they go talking about it's the nation, so now they didn't, you know, you now you got to sell it. Now right. that, and then on top of that, it just slowed your line down. Yeah, true. So now I got the, I'm going to be a part of that. And then they whooping you. So that was the only reason you wouldn't. Bro, I won GD. No. <laughs> mm -mm. But I was an adolescent at the time. I'm in fifth and sixth grade. So sometimes, you know, that that's just what stains in your mind. Yeah, true. It stood, it stood in my mind like, damn, I want money. I want power. If I ever get in the streets, I can't be that. Because they whooping the brakes off them. Like beating people with bats. I was like, nah. And, you know, shout out to the homies, you know, that's just what it was. I mean, that's what they did to their people. <laughs> so, I wasn't going. It ain't it snowing, be, I ain't going. Be you. Man, couldn't be me. So that same thing ain't happened, you know what I'm saying? On the BD side, side it was just like, you know, people got violations, but it wasn't to that extent. It wasn't to, like, I've always told, even when I got in a, in, into authority, I'm not about to beat nobody to hurt them. You know, everybody need a little light touching up here and there. And that's what's wrong with the streets right now. Everybody feel like they can do what they want to do. Right. Ain't, ain't no, no, ain't no, no accountability. Ain't no consequence. Ain't no accountability for what you say out your mouth. This and that. You know, Mikey and them. Even with Mikey and them. Like, I've never heard a time in Chicago where men called each other bitches and hoes. Man, I can't like, go. Like, I've never like known shit. that. But this next generation, that's endearment to them. Like, each generation, like, with my generation, right? Like, my my dad and them said we messed up the game. I, You know, and then the next generation, you know, the old heads, look at the next generation. Right. Y'all messing up the game. We feel like it went from drug dealers to drug users. Right. You know what I'm saying? And we feel like that's messing up the game. Everybody on drugs. So, it, you know, but to each his own, because who am I to tell you what's right, right for your generation? 
You know what I'm saying? It's just a different day and time. So what advice do you get for like this new generation? You know what I'm saying? Because like you said, it ain't going to just stop. I mean, for me, it's not what you do. It's how you do it. And always have respect for women, children, and elders. Like, I've never had seen a time in Chicago where our women and our children and our elders don't feel safe. Like, it's just been got out of hand. And one of the things, you know, when I came home, I saw a city that was calling itself Savages and Chirac. And for me, one, you better be careful in our city what you call yourself, and two, what you answer to. Because as soon as you answer to it, that shit can name. And then what you call yourself, you have to live up to it. Mm -hmm. So our city should be the show me city. Because if you say you're a teacher, we go test that. You go have the baddest kids in your class. Mm -hmm. if, you, if, you are, if you are an ER doctor, we shooting like hell. We go make sure you're a damn a good real, doctor. Real doctor. You know what I mean? You're yeah. a real, real doctor. And if you a street dude and you call yourself a savage, you gonna have to live up to it. Right. You know, so I just felt like when I came home, I was used to gangsters and gentlemen, meaning it was a balance. Yeah, you you did what you did. You put on black, that index finger work. If somebody got out wrong, you deserved it, you get it. But now it's like when you're a savage, anybody can get it. Anywhere, no anytime, this and that, in front of everybody. Like, we used to do moves, and if we caught you with your girl and your kid, you might get a pass. Depending on what you do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, it wasn't always like that. Right. If they had to get you, they had to get you. But you didn't went all the way out of bounds. But this generation, bro, like, they shooting through your mama. They shooting some people that shot the grandmamas. Like, it ain't, like, we then became an unbalanced city. And for me, we so gangster, but we don't have our business together, especially in the music industry. Right. To me, I'm going to be honest, bro, we looking like groupies and goofies. We ain't looking like gangsters and gentlemen. What I mean by that is not everybody. And, and let, let me be clear, not everybody. But for the majority of our city, we more followers than leaders. We used to, it's just something like similar like this. We used to take pride in having a girl that didn't nobody else have sex with. Mm -hmm. Now everybody has, like, you recycling these, bro. Like, all these women is getting recycled, even from the Kardashians and all them. I couldn't, like, like for a regular dude, they'll come up. Right. But for a dude that's already on, that's, like, it's a laughing no, thing. Yeah. I don't want your bitch. Like, it ain't, it ain't, I, I don't feel good when I, know, I walk I in the room and, and three, four of the guys. Exactly. Bro. You know what I'm saying? You done been with the bearded man. Now you with Trish. Now you, you know what I'm saying? You a bopper. Right. You know, I don't take pride in that. You know what I'm saying?